how to uninstall system application from any mobile phone without rooting the phone so hello and welcome guys welcome to crack so youtube channel and today in this video i'm going to show you how can you uninstall the system application from any mobile phone without root so this method works on every phone so let's get started So this is Samsung Galaxy J2 and in this video I'm going to uninstall the system application from this device. So first of all what you have to do is you have to enable the developer option of your device and every phone has its own method to enable the developer option. So in the Samsung phone you have to go to the about phone section and tap the build number about 10 times then the developer option will be enabled. And in the Xiaomi phone as you know that you have to go to the about phone section and tap on the MIUI version about 10 times then the developer option will be enabled. And after enabling the developer option then you have to go back and go to the developer option settings and inside the developer option you have to enable the OEM unlock and USB debugging as I have already enabled it so now I will go back and now I will show you that my phone is rooted or not so for this I have downloaded this root checker application and now I will check either my phone is rooted or not using this root checker application so you can see here my phone is not rooted sorry the root access is not properly installed on this device that means my phone is not rooted and then you have to download solid explorer file manager from the play store you can also download package name viewer or app inspector application but in this video i'm going to use this solid explorer file manager application so download it from the play store and open it and skip this setup and allow the permission and click on that three lines right over there and click on the application so just click on it and it will load here and click on the system apps and then it will show you the list of all the system application installed on your mobile phone and then connect your phone to the computer or laptop using USB cable and a pop-up will appear and click on OK to allow the USB debugging and use USB for transferring media files and then after just go to the computer so let's go to the computer so we're in computer right now and in computer you have to download two software the first one is 15 second adb installer and the second one is usb driver for your mobile phone and remember if you are using samsung phone then you have to download samsung usb driver and if you are using xiaomi phone then you have to download xiaomi usb driver so remember you have to download the usb driver according to your mobile phone so just search usb driver for your mobile phone then you will find lots of website to download the usb driver for your mobile phone similarly source for 15 second adb installer then you will find lots of website to download the adb installer file so just download them and install on your computer and i've already installed this samsung usb driver on my computer so i'm not going to install it again but i haven't installed this 15 second adb installer so i'm going to install it right now so right click on it and click on run as administrator and then press y and hit enter and press y and hit enter button again press y and hit enter button again and click on next and click on finish and adb setup is installed on our computer and now you have to simply go to the computer and go to the C drive then you will see ADB folder just open it and right over there you have to type CMD and hit the enter button then command promote will appear and here we have to type some commands and our first command is ADB space devices and then some numbers will shown that means our phone is connected to the computer in ADB mode. And then type the second command and that is ADB space cell. And hit the enter button and some cell section will appear with the string sign at the beginning and now we have to type our important command and that will uninstall the system application from our phone and the command is pm space uninstall space dash k space dash dash user space zero space and now we have to stop here and go to the mobile phone and go to the solid explorer file manager application and there search for the application that you want to uninstall and click on it and there you will see the package name of the samsung internet application so what we have to do is we have to simply type the package name on the command promote and the package name is com.seg.android.app.as browser so simply we have to type that command and now i'm typing that package name and remember there should be a space after that zero and the package name is com.seg.android.app.as browser and you should type very carefully there should not be any mistake 
and you have to hit the enter button then the samsung internet browser will be installed from your mobile phone and you can see there is no any option to install the samsung internet browser so now i'm going to hit the enter button and you can see it is installed from our device so samsung internet browser is now installed from our mobile phone so you can see the success written there also that means the application is successfully installed so similarly i'm going to install another application so that it will be clear for you to understand so suppose i want to install gmail application from my mobile phone then what i have to do is i have to simply type that command first of all and the command is pm space install space dash k space dash dash user space zero space and stop here and then go to the mobile phone and go to the solid explorer file manager application and search gmail and click on it and then you will see the package name of gmail and that is com.google.android.gm so we have to type that package name on command promote so let's go to the command promote and type that com.google.android.gm And then you have to hit the enter button then the gmail application will be installed from your mobile phone so now i will go back to the mobile phone and try to install gmail application from the mobile phone and you can see there is no any install option available there is only disable option available at the moment so i will hit the enter button and you can see success written there and at the same time you can see the gmail application is installed from our mobile phone and now I will go to the Play Store and check either it's installed or not. So you can see here we are in Play Store and I'm searching Gmail and you can see there is install option right there. And that means the application is installed from our mobile phone. And in this way you can install any application that you wanted to without rooting your phone. And I hope you understand how to install system application without rooting your phone. So that's it for today guys. Hope you like this video and if you like this video just let me know hit that like button. Comment below if you have any kinds of queries, suggestions or any kinds of problems. Share this video as much as you can. And don't forget to subscribe to our Crack Story YouTube channel and hit that notification bell as well. So thank you for watching this video and see you in my next video. Sayonara.